<clears throat> before um before I say anything, before I say anything, um, I just want to make this <clears throat> before um before I say anything. Before I say anything, I want to make this really clear what I'm about to say. I don't make it so clear so everybody understands that I'm not here to make fun of nobody. I'm not here to judge nobody. And I'm definitely not here to like to, to put judgments on anybody or make fun of anybody. I'm not. This is not me making fun of anyone. This is me who's going to state facts and say some things that people probably aren't going to like. Um, but I just got a message from a bad girl a very popular one. And she told me something about some somebody who not too long ago was like talking shit about us and making fun of us and, and saying this and saying that. And from what I hear that they're going through a very dark time right now, um, paranoia and schizophrenia and a lot of like scary, dark things. So this live has to do with like, is Bad Girls Club cursed? Is there a curse on the Bad Girls Club? I'm gonna tell you why. Let me just um, connect with my spirit guides and have them guide me through this. I've had a lot of dreams about Bad Girls Club. Like we were together in a house and it was like, like very dark and creepy kind of energy. When I was on the show, when I was on the show, I'm gonna tell you, the producers would come up to me and like they would say weird shit like, oh, you're the star of the show and you're the reason why it's so popular and and you're gonna make this show amazing and you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that. And and they used and they used and they abused so many of the girls and would lie to us and would tell us this, would tell us that they they took so much money from us, they they basically made millions of dollars from us and treated us like shit and you know threw us to the side when they no 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 longer needed us and and the reason why I'm I said is the bad girls club cursed and I don't talk about this you guys know that but I had to talk about this you know I was talking to um to Judy and she was telling me Flo like there's some bad juju on some people like I swear this you know this everything's happening to everybody like almost like years down the line you know they were make they were saying all this shit about me and they were actually saying about Judy too that we're crazy we're on drugs I mean yo I went through drug addiction after bad girls club a lot of other bad girls went through addiction after bad girls club not only that a lot of them did like weird shit like I don't know. I think one was in a porno. How many of them passed away? Do you guys know? Was it three bad girls that passed away? I mean, they were for different reasons and for different things, but it was three, like three girls that passed away from bad girls club. Right. Um, and that happened. And so many of the girls, like, you know, I remember, I, I don't, I like, I'm not here to mention names and be like this one, this one happened to this. I'm not here to make fun of everybody. Let me let me make this very clear so you guys don't think I'm here judging them and pointing fingers. I'm not. The way they most of them judged me when I was going through my shit, they were like making fun of me and saying, oh, she's on crack and this and that. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to point out the obvious. I just saw an orb. Oh, look at that orb. Oh my God, that orb. You'll see it on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm here to state the ob. Oh my God, you guys have to see on YouTube how many orbs there are. If you get a chance to go on YouTube, there are orbs passing me everywhere right now. Um, this is important for me to talk about. You can see it here. This is important for me to talk about. Um, wait, which girls? Um, so, so I don't, here's the thing. I don't want to talk about people and I don't want to mention their names because then people are going to say, oh, she's talking bad. I'm not talking bad about them. I actually feel very sad for them. Okay. Yeah. It was four girls that passed away on Bad Girls Club. Do you know how many went through addiction? Some like alcoholism, drugs, including me, including me. Okay. Even my sister used to say, she's like, I swear to God, that show is cursed. I'm, I remember when I was on season four, I said, this house got the devil in it. And everybody thought I was joking and laughing. Like, but what they didn't realize was like, I was trying to say this house truly got like, there's, there's the devil isn't 
I remember me and Natalie were sitting on this, on the big couch like this, like a big couch. And I was like to her, yo, you got to stop doing this because whatever they're telling you to do, you're just giving them what they want. And she was like, no, Flo, no, no. But then we sat on the couch and I remember she got into a fight and I told her, you know, you're losing your grandmother's jewelry because you're fighting and your grandma's telling you, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't fight. That's twice you lost the ring of your passed on grandmother. I remember telling her this and the ring. And this is a true, true fact. I went in the um, confessional room and I said, you got to stop fighting. This is like your, um, there was four of them. There was four of them that passed away. There was, um, the, with a D, 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 I'm not sure of their names really, but I think it was four of them. Let me just say this really quick. Not only did four of them, three or four of them pass away, rest in peace, God bless their soul. Um, that girl, Boston, she passed away, right? The other girl, um, there was two other girls. There was three of them that I, here, I don't want to have the facts wrong, but I know it was a few of them. The Shyla, thank you. Let me just say this to you. I had said the devil was in that house from the beginning. I mean, I don't believe in curses specifically, but I do believe that if enough people wish bad on you, things can go wrong for you, terribly wrong for you. And I'm going to say this right now, like um, the twins, the twins, and I'm not talking bad about them. Like, if you guys need my help, please let me know. I went through addiction. I'm clean now. I got sober. I got clean. I got my life together. I had to rebuild my whole life. I lost everything. You can say whatever you want. I'm, I'm not here to make fun of you. Um, I hear what's going on with you. And at the time when I was going through what I was going through, like they were posting things about me saying she's a drug addict. She's a crackhead. Listen, I went through I, I went through a Percocet addiction and Adderall addiction. And I'm hearing that they're going through the same thing years later. I'm not here to make fun of nobody again, once again. But I feel like Bad Girls Club has a curse on them that is not going to go away. And it's because it puts out negative shit to young people. This is why I do not get involved with it. You guys think when I have these dreams about it, I realize what it's showing me. It's showing me that that's a part of my life. That's something that I do need to talk about. I'm not here to stop Zeus Network or whatever the fuck they are. If you guys have fun. Do it all you want. But what we're doing, what we're doing is showing children, young people that are watching the show constantly that we're not growing. Nothing's happening. Nothing's changing in our lives. All we want to do is fight. Um, girls are out here fucking still hosting clubs. I get it. You know, I get it. You want to make money. You want to be famous. Fine. But when you're like... I don't know how to put this without saying it. So everybody's not like Flo is sitting here like hating. You know, I'm not hating on them guys. You know, I'm saying this with love in my heart. This is a, a, a sh I'm doing this because I want you to understand. I have seen it myself. It's, um, it's interesting how all of the girls, most of the girls that, that went through that, they came to me when they saw I was doing this healing stuff and I was getting into this healing stuff. They all came to me for help. Every single one of them that was going through shit came to me for help. Okay. So even the ones that talk shit, we argued and, and we supposedly hated each other. They all came to me for help. And I'm telling you this for a reason. It's because they saw me come out and say, this is not right. We shouldn't be doing this. And something inside of them was like, why do I agree with her? But I don't want to say it because I don't want to lose the opportunities that I might have coming forward with Bad Girls Club or whatever. I'm not make. I'm not saying that what they're doing. I'm not saying what they're doing is bad or good. What I'm saying is, um, the the entertainment industry. You guys, you have, you have to understand this. A lot of people that go into the entertainment industry, it goes like this. If your heart is pure, I'm not this. I'm telling you right now. If you have a pure heart. And you step into the entertainment industry, it will ruin you. I talk about this all the time. Like people like Selena Gomez, you know, um, uh, what's it, Demi Lovato. Um, these are people that I feel like were like too real and too pure for the industry and it destroyed them. And they had to like go through hell in it because it was their hell. That was their hell. That was their like, okay. <laughs> Like you wanna, I'm sorry, I got a little bit of a cold, you guys. Excuse me, but I'm not gonna stop this live because it's 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 very important. I woke up to a, a crazy message today. And nobody was like I said, somebody was like, I'm not talking shit about them, but I just want you to know, remember when you know these girls were saying this about you and they were doing that, like they're going through the same exact thing. She goes, I'm telling you, this shit got a lot of bad juju. I don't agree with what's going on. I'm not fucking with it no more. And I'm not telling nobody not to fuck with it or none of that. But I gotta tell you. Some of the girls that have come to me for help 
and they're like, oh, I want a reading or whatever. And I have done it. And it's like, you could see their mind is so focused on drama. They can't even focus on themselves. Like they're still worried about drama. They're still arguing with each other. Like we shouldn't be fighting with each other. We, we were on the same show and we went through the same experiences. I'm going to just say there's a few girls out of it, like very rare few girls out of it that are like, you just can't fuck with them. Like you can't trust them. You can't be around them. I'm not saying who, what, or where, or why. I don't even know half of them. Honestly, I, the ones that you see me write messages under and how you doing, I really like, I, I, I've talked to them a few times. I have no beef with nobody. None. I have no beef with not one person. I don't need to have beef with anybody today. I'm, I'm grown. That show was a long time ago. I have a lot of love and respect for a lot of the girls because I understand that they started something on a show where they were trying to make something out of themselves. And then for a lot of them, it didn't go the way they thought it was going to go. And so they ended up like, you know how hard it is to go from that like crazy fame to like, well, it was crazy fame. And it is actually the craziest fame you could have because Bad Girls Club, I remember a lot of times walking down the street and people be like, I thought you were a bad girl. What's up, bitch? Like, and I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm just walking down the street. Like, I'd be in the store shopping, clothing. For me, I have rarely had people wanting to fight me or hate me, but I have seen with my own two eyes how bad it was for some of the other girls. They were like, it was like they're being attacked. You know what I'm saying? Like everywhere they would go, somebody would attack them. Like they'd be like, you stupid bitch. I remember being in LA and, and people being like to Natalie, you fucking dumb bitch, you corny, get the fuck out of LA. You know, like a lot of people hating on her. And I was like, yo, you live here. Like, you don't think that's a little dangerous that people don't like you this much? She was like, oh, they're just talking. No, they're not. There's there's girls who bad girls who've been jumped by random people. There's girls who've been in fights with random people. <clears throat> we got people who got shot. What's her name got shot in a parking lot? Now you might say it had something to do with someone else, but you don't know that. You don't know that. Like it could have been like haters and then finding out that who they are. And um, and then you see a lot of them wilding out in gas stations on on, I don't know, I don't know who was on an airplane or on in the store and and girls doing pornos and and only fans and just like it's like. <laughs> It's like crazy to me that nobody sees this and they're just like still wanting these girls to be in a house and fight with each other instead of us being together in a house and showing people how we've grown and how we work together and how we do things together and how we're grown ass adults and how we help each other out in life instead of shitting on each other constantly over and over to do what to be famous this is why you guys can fucking say whatever you want but i'm gonna keep it a buck with you right now i've been asked to do many fucking things after bad girls club don't think Flo is sitting back here and nobody. My phone was always the first one to ring. Every show you see another bad girl on, I was the first one invited on it. Understand that. Understand that. Look at my face when I tell you. Every single show you see the bad girls, you know, after me, after I said no, they took somebody else. I was the first one asked to do all of them. Just know that. You know why I said no? Because it was toxic. I turned out $150,000 for marriage boot camp, because the show was a bullshit lie. And everybody was like, oh my God, their relationship, there's a lie. They wanted me to lie. They had other people lie and I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do anything for the money, purely for the money. You guys need to understand this. And this is a very important thing I'm saying to you because what you need to understand, see what Jeanette says right there, what you need to understand is I've turned down every single thing they've asked me to do. And believe me, they've asked me to do every thing you see season 13 um bad girls boot camp uh excuse me i mean bad girls boot camp uh, that was the show i wanted to do i wanted to take bad girls on there and help them turn their lives around and help them get their shit together that's the show i wanted to do that i approached oxygen with and they were like you can't do that because it's going to make bad girls club look like it's a bad thing and i'm like but it is a bad thing it's it's literally a bad thing like people need to change like this is not okay we're fucking women killing each other to, for what i don't give a fuck about fame and i'm telling you right now fame to me never meant a thing to me and that is one of the, you cannot buy me and i remember the producers from bad girls still coming up to me and be like okay so we're gonna pay you this much and to do this and you're gonna be the most fame like devils they would come in your hotel room and sneak in there in the middle of the night and tell you how this one talked about you and and try to make you mad so you can hate them and and i'd look at them like no 
No, you're not. Fuck, you're not. Let me just tell you something. It's not money. Money is not evil. People are evil. People that hold that money are evil because money is just a piece of paper. It's it's not even currency. The real currency in this world is energy. Money has nothing to do with it. None of that has to do with it. It's all about the fact that the industry is evil. Now, is all of the industry evil? No, I'm sure there's like five or six people in there that are still pure hearted and just want to see people make it and be successful. But let me ask and look at all these celebrities. Everybody loses their fucking minds. If you guys can't see that, how fucking real it is. I mean, really, it's crazy. It's crazy. Exactly. Negative demons in your ear coming into you like the snake in the grass. You know how you see the vision of like, I'm not saying we're Jesus, but Jesus had the devil every second. Like, you should do this. And he's like, get back from me. You know, uh, like when I was on season four, I would say that all the time. Yo, this place is cursed. Like, this is e this place is evil. Like, I would lose my mind in that house. I lost my mind when I left that house. You don't understand that before I went on Bad Girls Club. And many girls, before they went on Bad Girls Club, they lived a nice, cute, normal life, good little girl doing, you know, the right so-called, quote unquote, right thing. Then all of a sudden you get on a show called Bad Girls Club. Now you start to live that lifestyle. You start to act like you're a bad girl. And then it goes from there and boom, it's like, she's shown. And I'm telling you, out of all of the bad girls, there's a few of them that we could look at and go, wow, they're doing good and they're great. But, you know, so many of them, so many of them have issues inside of them. And I promise you, if they didn't have these issues before by slope, they sure should had it after. OK, I have been saying this. <laughs> this is not my, I didn't just become psychic. I have been saying this from the beginning. OK. I've been saying this from the beginning. Nobody wanted to believe me. Nobody wanted to listen because, you know, at that time I was crazy because I went, did do drugs because I didn't know what to do with myself. I lost my fucking mind. You know, everything was, it was so weird how everybody was acting, how I was acting. It was just weird how my life became like so toxic, like so quickly when I left that show, like even all-star battle. I remember that at the end, the guy going to me, Flo, you know, the, the puzzle you were doing, there was a piece missing. That's why you couldn't find it. He's like, I should you not right before you came out. Remember the lady, he goes, when she pointed you to the second one, I was like, yeah, she did point me to the second one, didn't she? Because I was like, I was like, what do I do? What do I do? She's like, go to the puzzle. Number two, number two, this bitch pointed me there. And I'm like, why is she pointing? So I followed the direction. It's like, they were like, let's make her lose so that everybody could feel bad for her because everybody likes her or everybody hates her. And she's the bad guy who's going to lose. And it's going to be so sad because she's going to lose and her daughter and this at the end of it, this black guy that worked there, I'll never forget this. He came to me. He was like, yo, why did you listen to her when she told you to go to, to the number two sandbox and the number two puzzle? You should have went the other way. I saw you going the other way, but she pushed you in that direction. Like as if they set it up. This is, <clears throat> listen to me. <laughs> I have had so many dreams about this show and, and the people in it. And it's not because I think about it because I don't. <clears throat> I don't think about it at all. <clears throat> I don't even know what's going on with the bad girls, any of them, because I like to stay in my lane and mind my business. But I had, I have people telling me all the time, this is happening. That's happening. I'm like, yo, stop sending me shit. It's their business. Like, I don't care. <clears throat> and I'm telling you every single time I always hear shit, like everything that happened to me is happening to some other people now. And it's like the same repetitive pattern. And I'm not saying, haha, karma, bitch, that's what you get. No, I'm showing you a pattern. It's a pattern. It's nonstop. It's the bad girls club curse. It keeps going and going and going. <clears throat> <clears throat> Even trying to talk about it right now, my throat is closing up. It's like as if somebody doesn't want me to say this. Somebody doesn't want me to say this, but you can't stop me today. I'm strong. The forces that were behind this effort to take down good people who tried just really to just do things because my full intention when I first went into the show I was like I hope I go on and I hope one day I can help people maybe I could make my music and heal people or or do something or be there for young kids I had this big plan this big these big dreams and I'm sure a lot of the girls did but a lot of them don't give a fuck they just want to be famous and have money 
and they start drama and beef and they get you wrapped up in it. And you're like, what's going on with that? And you're like, you're like hanging on to every word, like a little puppet and like everything they say, you have to see it or you have to, you have to be a part of it. Like I, no offense, but I watch some of like my sister. Cause she's like one of those, she's a Gemini. She's going to watch everything. Okay. Like, let me just talk about it right now. Let me talk about it right now. Um, you can't, you can't sue them for your foot. You, they would never have given you sign like your life away when you get on the show. Um, <clears throat> my sister told me, um, she like, she would show me clips of it, of the show and stuff. And I'd be like, stop sending me that. But then I would watch it, you know, cause it's like the train wreck. You can't look away. And I was seeing the girls and like, they're arguing. I don't know. I think one of them was over makeup or something like they were arguing over who paid for the makeup artist. You guys. Is that how is that how bored you are? Is that how bored you are? I could I could I could make a video right now of me and my my sister when we were kids arguing about our makeup. Like this is what we're we're is that how bored you motherfuckers are? You you gotta watch grown ass women argue about who paid for makeup or whatever the fuck they were fighting over, attacking each other at every cost. Look, I was a part of that fucking demonic train of. <clears throat> negative energy being thrown out into the universe and I will no longer feed that machine ever 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 again I will never ever feed a machine again I don't care the amounts of money they pay me and again I've talked to a few of the bad girls that were on the show and I'm gonna say this is what I heard from some of them I'm not gonna say names because I'm not that type of person Flo I'm never dealing with that oh my god it was so much drama so much. some of them don't care some of their mind is like, they're so brainwashed and so lost that like that, that little bit of $20,000 or $30,000, I don't care how much they make. It looks like, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth it to put this out into the universe? It's time for the universe to change and to uplift itself. And we're going to continuously put out negative. Do you not see the, the effect that it's having on these girls? Do you not see that these people that comment on people and, and give the drug, the amount of drug addicts that Bad Girls Club has produced? They were not drug addicts before the show. Okay. They were not drug addicts. They were not selling their ass on, on OnlyFans and twerking. And some of them were, and they're happy about it. And that's good for them. That was their whole life. Awesome. But like Bad Girls Club went from a show where they took normal girls who did like normal shit and just like, you know, were a little crazy and wanted to fight. So like almost like a, a porno, it just kept getting like darker and darker and dark. It just kept getting darker. And it was just, it started getting disgusting. Like, it's like, almost like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, I'm not judging, but, but you know what? A little bit, I am a little bit. It started to get, it started to become like, like fucking, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you. I mean, like, well, how else can I put it besides dark and, and creepy and weird and weird? Like, it's just weird. It's just fucking weird. Nobody, nobody notices that. Nobody noticed that. So if there's not a bad girls club curse, then I don't know what there is. And you guys could say like, oh, flows. Hey, I'm not hating you guys. I'm not a hater. I, my, I am the happiest I've ever been in my life. And you guys can see that every single day. I have never been happier. And I'm very happy for the girls that are happy. But for the ones that are not, if you need help and you need someone to talk to, and I mean this because I went through it myself. And if you need someone to talk to, and you need some, I understand the pain that you're going through. And I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm to, here to tell you that somebody loves you. You can get better. You will be okay. And things will change for you. Okay. Now, if any other bad girls see this and they're like, this bitch, that means that you're a part of the problem. You are a part of the problem. And if you got something to say, I'm right here. I'm right here. You can approach me, approach me like a grown ass woman. <coughs> Talk to me like a grown ass woman. But do me a favor, don't come on here judging me for trying to help other bad girls. Because let me explain something to you. At the time when my shit was fucked up and everybody was pointing the fingers at me and nobody reached out to me, are you okay, Flo? Do you need help? I'm telling you, if it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're on a bad girls club or not. If you're going through something, you're in pain and you don't know how to handle it and you're bugging out in your mind and things, you can't understand the concept that you're no longer on the show and you're just going to live a regular life and you can do anything you want and you'll be okay. Please do me a favor. Please do me a favor. Yeah, like Mike, all of that. Like, a lot of people on reality shows start losing their minds, man. Don't get it twisted because these bitches are taking over the counter. Doctors are prescribing them Xanax and all that. 
A drug is a drug is a drug is a drug, okay? A drug is a drug, no matter what form you take it in, whether it be a pill, powder, um, drink, <laughs> they're all drugs. If you need help, I'm telling you right now, and if other bad girls see, see this and they're like, oh, she, who the fuck does she think? I know who the fuck I think I am. I'm a girl who su survived the bad girls club curse. I broke it myself. For those of you who are still in the curse and you still not woken up for it, money is in everything. Okay. So be very aware of the fact that if you think just because you're making money and you have a house, okay, with no furniture in it, that you're <clears throat> the shit that you're the bomb.com and your life is perfect. And you're, please stop, please stop, stop denying, lying to everybody. Just tell the truth. You struggle just like everybody else. Even those of you who like play off this, like I'm happy character, happy people don't fight with each other over stupid shit. Happy people are happy. They don't need to keep involving drama into their life and fighting with others and attacking each other and saying, this one's a loser and I'm better. And let me box this one or let me fight that. You guys, you know what? You know what? The fact that so much toxicity is involved in this in this earth that you guys still have to watch shows with toxicity in it like I, there's no way networks won't even like it really is a problem that networks if i was to go there right now I'd be like look because i have i've said i want to do a show with the girls where i grab i put them in the house and i really helped them like i wanted to call it bad girls boot camp with flow and it's not even that i'm the star of the show i just want to help people like i'll do readings mediumship healing on them we'll do we'll go to the mountains we'll like talk to trees we'll do stuff like that and put that out into the universe they wouldn't do it for shit they won't do it why it's too it's too positive nobody's gonna watch it people like to see negativity people have to see nudity and stupidity so in order for them to watch it these people are put there. You see what I'm saying? They're like tools of the devil. Like the tool. And I'm not saying the devil himself, like, oh my God, red horn guy. I'm talking about the, the, the distractions that are placed here on this earth. It's like when something big is going on and then on the news, they put like, Gabby, something is missing. Meanwhile, fucking they're killing people in the hospitals all the time on, on the schmetalators. Just understand, man, everything is a distraction. While I... I you know, it breaks my heart, man, because um, I, I'm this hits so close to home and finding out all of these things happening to all these people. To me, it's not funny. I don't find any of it funny. OK, it is cursed. That shit is cursed. And like there's, the curse has to be broken. And I want you guys, if you're happy to watch it, support it. You go. I'm not telling nobody not to support it. What I'm telling you is if you have an issue or a problem and you think the way to deal with things is through toxic behaviors, negative energy, and you, that's the way you're dealing with it, I'm here to tell you that you're going to stay in a cycle and you're going to be really fucked up for the rest of your life. Tears come to my eyes because the youth right now, I don't give a fuck that, I, I, that only 30 people come in my life and nobody listens. But the people that do listen, they change their lives because of it. And it's because I've been through it and the shit is lonely as fuck. Like do going through the pain of people laughing at you when you need help the most is not okay. So I'm telling you, if you need my help, you can hit me up. I will listen to you, but you have to be focused and wanting help. I don't want you coming to me the way one or two of the girls have come in while and now and like i need you to focus i'm not here for your entertainment i'm here for your help and i promise you i promise you life is going to get better if you just focus on what's going on today don't focus on the past who you were and oh i was this famous person and i was this great person it doesn't matter i don't I, who i was on the show and all that doesn't matter who i am florina kaya that's what matters that's what matters and i want you to know you're not alone Nobody hates you. Nobody's making fun of you. Doesn't matter if you're, you're broke, you're homeless. We're not, I'm not here to make fun of you. Nobody's here to make fun of you. Everybody goes through struggles. Just because you're on TV doesn't mean you cannot be homeless the next day and struggle. I remember going completely broke at one point, completely broke to the point where I really thought about getting like food stamps or cash assistance. And I didn't even know how to do none of that shit, but people were telling me to do it. That's how broke I was. But I didn't do it because I had my family to help me. And if I had to, I would have. I would have with no problem. I just didn't know what to do. So I had my family helping me. And so I got my shit back together. I went to a couple of rehabs. I went to jail. I had to change my life. I had to really figure out who the fuck I am. And that's happy to be Florina Kaya. Florina, me, the real Florina. 
And that's why I changed my Instagram name to The Real Florina. And I became who I really am. And I started being me and I started talking about everything. And, and, and it's funny because I don't have a lot of followers. And I'll tell you this, I've seen a couple of the girls that, that have posted, <clears throat> I was, I was on, I was addicted and blah, blah, blah. And now look at me, I got this, I got that, but, but they're still, you know what I'm saying? It's just because they have a lot of followers. So they play it off like they're okay, but really they're not, they're not, they're still doing the same things They're just doing it on the low and they're trying to keep it as quiet as possible. But all things come to light. All things come to light. So if you need my help, if you're in trouble and you need somebody to talk to, you know, you could try, you could do it on my on my Instagram. You could DM me and I'll try to get back to you. You could email me or you can um, join my podcast and get on a Zoom with me and I'll help you. I'm telling you every single person right here, right now, if you need help, you need help. I'm here for you. Understand that. And I'm not here to judge nobody because I love every single one of you and I want you all to be happy. And I want you to stop filling your mind with this toxic bullshit that you keep saying. And I'm not saying don't watch bad girls, but you want to watch it because you love the girls and you just like watching them. I understand. But if you're watching to watch people hurt each other, I put a protection prayer over myself before I started this. <clears throat> and I have that protection amulet from the Tibetan Buddhist monk sent to me personally here with a prayer inside of it that I hold on near and dear to my heart. And it's been protecting me in many ways. I have a team of angels, a team of souls. If you watch this video on YouTube or even here, you'll see a bunch of orbs passing me. My team of souls, my team of angels comes in whenever I need them. And I'm telling you, I have a strong team behind me in the spiritual world. And I also do in this world too. So if you need my help, I'm just saying to you, the show has a curse on it. I'm telling you, you got to break that curse yourself. It's not going to, it's not going to do a collective thing. I almost feel like bad girls club. A lot of the girls will pass life witches and this is their, you know what I'm saying? This is their, like, as if it was like a team of not bad girls club, but the witches club. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, um, somebody who like, who likes voodoo told, who's a voodoo thing told me that sounds like some bad juju. You know, it sounds like they were cursed, honestly. <laughs> or like y'all y'all was like some kind of witches in a past life and here you are doing it in this lifetime going through that shit so anyway i wanted to leave that live i woke up today with that message and it just triggered me to to do this live <clears throat> again i'm not talking bad about anybody so please i don't want to hear nothing like who the fuck do you think you are listen first of all like i said if you have something to say you come directly to me. I'm not a part of your little drama. I don't want to argue or fight with you. You won. You already won the argument. You're the baddest. You're the strongest. You're the coolest. You're the prettiest. You're the hottest. You're the richest. You're the, the everything. I don't want to be any of those titles. I'm not any of those titles. You won. You already won the argument. So if you're trying to argue and talk shit about me, you won the argument. Everything you're saying, you're right. I'm wrong. You're smart. I'm stupid. You're cute. I'm ugly. You're skinny. I'm fat. So everything you win, you win. Like I'm like Eminem in the eight mile. I'm just going to destroy myself in a battle rap first. So this way, when it comes turn time to your, your turn to, to, to rap about me, you can't say anything because I already told you I, I was broke. I, I am living with my mom. I am fat right now. I don't give a fuck, bitch. All of it. So say whatever you want. I'm not here to argue with you or to battle rap you um, <clears throat> or to box you in a boxing ring <clears throat> and, you know, um, get paid to beat each other up. Like, I'm not here to do any of that because, first of all, I would probably knock all of you to fuck out. But, like, just going to say I'm not here to fight none of you. So I'm here in the love and the light. But I'm just going to tell you, all you guys, it's coming from a place of love. I'm not making fun of you. I'm not judging you. I'm just letting you know, be aware if things are not working out for you constantly over and over again. Yeah, you got money. Yeah, you got stuff. Right. But if your heart isn't full, just be aware. OK, be aware of what's going on. Be aware. Pay close attention. OK, pay, pay close attention to your energy. Check your motherfucking energy when you're dealing with this shit. So good luck to you. Self-growth is priceless. I am the strongest one because I chose to grow. I'm not the strongest one out of them. I'm saying I'm the strongest one to me. I'm strong inside of my heart. You understand that, right? Like I'm strong here. I don't work on myself so fucking hard. Nothing can stop me ever. Nothing can destroy me because I battled my own demons. None, I didn't battle you. I wasn't competing with you, with her, with anyone. I had to fight with my own demons and my demons were big. They were strong. They were dark and they were evil. 
So I'm just letting you know, I've gotten through that and I've gotten through everything. So understand that nothing and no one can ever break me down. You can say whatever you want about me. The strength within me, it's it, I'm unshakable. I'm unbreakable and unshakable because I've already experienced that part of my life where everything was so important for you to all accept me. And I, I don't care who accepts me. You know why? Because I accept me for exactly who I am today. I accept me. I love me. So I love you guys. And I promise you, like I said, if you need my help, you can come to me. Okay. This is what I was here for. I was sent to go through all of this, to heal it and to get to where I am today, to be strong enough, to have, to have enough. It's weird. My eyes, my ears are popping. Like I'm feeling like a ton of, you know, when the, I'm just going to say when those bad girls passed away, um, and the third one passed away. I remember laying in my bed and hearing them and them saying like, say this, say that, say that. And I was like, I can't say that. Cause people are going to think I'm hating. Like, as if they were saying, God, it's all people. It's no good. No, as if they see something on the other side, you know, I've tapped into their energy before, but I didn't want to say nothing because the sensitivity of the family and, you know, without asking for permission, I didn't want to get in there, but I will promise you as a medium, I have heard them tell me to say things. I just did not because of respect out of respect of the family. But I will tell you, I've had heard them say, you got to say this, you got to say that, they need to stop. Like they were like in my face, like talking to me. And I was like, mm -mm, I can't really say nothing right now because people are going to think I'm hating. But, you know, listen, anyway, I hope you guys watch this. I hope you share it with someone. And I hope, you know, you really understand that I'm coming from a place of love. And like I said, anybody gets offended by this, then you probably need to check yourself and why you're getting offended by the video. I just want to say that. If you're getting offended by this and this this triggers you or makes you feel like, bitch, well, I don't think you think you are. There's something that you need to check within yourself. That means I'm exactly talking to you without even knowing I'm talking to you. And maybe you need to check into it, check into yourself, you know, check your energy. Where are you at mentally? And why is this video triggering you? Why is it making you mad? Why are you all of a sudden, if you decide to attack me or say crazy shit, just check your own energy. So anybody who attacks me or leaves crazy comments, which I'm not expecting that, but if it does happen, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, you know, um, I'm rubber, your glue, whatever you say sticks back to you or whatever the case is, because that's exactly how it is. If you're saying something, it's because this is triggering you and it's making you see something about yourself. Like, Am I toxic? Why do I like watching that toxic shit? Why am I part of the problem? Why am I not, you know, showing kids that we should get along and we should be women and support each other and love each other and not fight over a fucking hundred dollar makeup job? Like, you know, if everybody's making so much money, then why are you guys arguing over a hundred dollar makeup job? I'm just, it's confusing to me. Like, I, I, I thought you guys were making a lot of money. What the makeup artist, what, what is it? $150? Like I could throw up for people's makeups right now because I have money saved like are you really doing the right thing or are you just going and like doing whatever you can and spending all your money on garbage and purses just just like get check your energy okay check your energy love and light to you guys I'll see you guys later bye